Good morning, this is a weather briefing produced on the morning of February 21st, 2016 for the upcoming rain event that starts today, Sunday, and continues through Tuesday night. This multimedia briefing was produced by your National Weather Service office in Fort Worth, Dallas. The first of a few rounds of rain will occur today and tonight as a weak front moves through the region and an upper level disturbance provides lift over north and central Texas. The most likely timing for rain will be this afternoon through the evening hours. Isolated to scattered thunderstorms will occur, but severe weather is not expected. The highest rain chances are generally along and south of a line from Goldthwait to Hillsboro to Corsicana to Canton. On Monday, we are anticipating a brief lull in the overall rain activity, but some lingering showers and isolated thunderstorms may occur. The best chances for lingering rain or storms will be roughly east of a line from Cameron to Corsicana to Bonham. The final round of rain will occur Monday night through Tuesday night as another cold front and powerful upper level disturbance combine to bring rain to the region. Showers and thunderstorms will again occur over north and central Texas and will end from west to east Tuesday afternoon and night. Severe storms are not expected, but some strong storms may occur and they could produce small hail. As we discussed on the previous slides, there will be two to three rounds of rain that will bring beneficial totals to north and central Texas through Tuesday night. Rainfall totals for the most part are expected to range between one to two inches over most of the region. Some locations will receive less than an inch of rain and some locations may receive over two inches of rain. The highest rainfall totals are expected to be south of Interstate 20 and east of Interstate 35. These rainfall totals will be spread out over a three-day period, thus widespread flash flooding is not expected to be a threat. However, isolated instances of flooding in low-lying areas may occur. To summarize, the overall threats for this rain event are low. Widespread flooding is not expected, but isolated flooding may occur in low-lying areas. Severe storms are not expected, but some strong storms producing small hail may occur Monday night through Tuesday night. Drive cautiously on wet pavement, avoid flooded areas, and stay indoors when it's lightning and thundering. Quick note about our temperatures this week, it will be cooling off. The two cold fronts early this week will cool our high temperatures to below normal values for the early part of the work week. It will be windy on Tuesday and Wednesday, thus making it feel several degrees cooler than the actual temperature. Thank you for joining us. For more information, please visit our website at www.weather.gov slash Fort Worth.